This fully electric Emoto is loaded with tech. It's got a front and rear camera. You can turn it on with the NFC card. It's got a seven inch touchscreen display. It's got a built in alarm if the bike is moved when locked. And an auto grade charger with a touchscreen charge port opener. Voila. There's a light show with music and a ton of other stuff that I'll talk about later. This is the Naxian I Am, a very futuristic e-moto. This is made from 75% recycled aluminum, 60% recycled plastic. There's some bamboo fiber native fabric in there and bio-based leather. Usually it's being sold for $8,000, but it is on sale right now for 7,000. You can get it in four colors and it weighs 302 pounds. All right, before I talk about the performance, I wanna talk about all the tech this has. Heave it on over, oh yeah. Ah, oh, it's not light. Well, the first thing is the touch screen, which is just awesome. That is seven inches long, and there's a bunch of stuff you can do in here. So just like a phone, you can just swipe to see the different settings, different things you can change. Or down here, you can just push these icons. That's the home screen, navigation, settings, GPS, camera, and more settings. One of my favorite features is the cameras, the dual cameras. So you hit that button, and you've got a live feed. That is the rear camera. If I zoom up here, Give you a little wave. There we go. How you guys doing? I can switch it to the front by hitting that button. And there's my hand. You can manually record by hitting that button. Shows up red. It's also red over here. And then if you want to watch what you just recorded, hit that button. This brings you to all the clips. Sorry, you guys had to see that. Now, if you're in camera mode and you move the bike, it will shut that off and go back to the home screen. Under the settings tab, this is vehicle control. There's an auto record option. Then it will auto record in three minute segments. And these are all the auto record videos from the past oh, a couple weeks. It auto overwrites and you can also delete these one at a time or just do like a bulk delete. You can also connect your phone to the bike and those videos will be sent to your phone and you can watch them there as well. The last thing I wanna talk about as far as the camera is the rear camera will automatically kick on and start recording when you back up. If you hold the R down and then twist the throttle, camera kicks on and you got power, so you can reverse uphill. Next thing I wanna show you guys is the GPS tracking. I have not set that up yet, but if you did, it would show up right there. One of the coolest things that I like is you can change the theme. You can do a light theme or dark or automatic. If you wanted to change what's displayed on the home screen to more widgets, and you hit this button right here, this is the widget button. And then you have this screen, which these two things are the same, but instead of the bike with the tire pressure, it has other different things you can monitor, like motor temperature, battery temperature, and then how much power you're using. If you don't like all the sounds this makes, which it does make a lot of sounds, you can turn them off in the settings, sound and lighting, and then you go to system sound, I have it on standard, and you can turn that all off. Now it is time to close the garage door, because I gotta show you all the lights this has, which is pretty cool. And the first thing is the anti-theft. So if you lock the bike, and then if you try to move it, after a couple seconds, it's gonna go crazy. Both the tires lock. You can't move that anymore. I think someone's gonna hear that. The next thing is all the lights coming on when you turn it on. That just looks pretty awesome. You got two lights on the handlebars. The tail light is white. You got the LED lights along both sides and then lights shining down on the ground. A light down there by the fender. And then the headlights. So it's very bright and vibrant. That is just beautiful. And then the shutoff sequence is pretty awesome. Makes a nice noise and slowly shuts everything off. This does have a light show and these guys took a page right out of Tesla because check this out, mode one, here we go. Yeah. Get down with my bad self, yeah. Woo! The next light feature comes on when you sit on the seat. So I'll pop on here. The two handlebar lights come on for a couple seconds. Makes a nice little fun dink noise. The next thing I wanna show you is the difference in lighting between park mode and drive mode. When you first hit the bike on, it just automatically goes into park mode. In that mode, it looks like this. It's lit up, very bright. Every single light on the bike is on. On the right side, there's a P, that's your park button. If you hit that, it puts it into drive mode. It shuts off the handlebar lights, shuts off the side lights, the ground lights, the fender lights, turns the tail light to red, and now you're ready to rock and roll. Now, if you don't like a bright display, you can change that. Go to display, screen brightness. I've got it set to 100%. I can just move that bar all the way down to zero. You can also do automatic headlights, turn them off and on. And like automatic headlights on your car, they'll just come on when it gets dark. Then you got low beams and high beams. 
And this panel on the left side of the handlebars lights up when you turn the lights on. And then you got turn signals. Makes a nice clicking noise. Shows up on the screen in two ways with an arrow and then this whole left side lights up green. And then they're very bright. There's the front one with the matching rear. And then look how bright that is. <laughs> to turn them off, you do have to hit them again. You also have flashers. You get in trouble alongside the road, you hit those flashers, you're gonna be seen. Now these handlebar lights, when you're riding, they'll come on depending on how much power you're using. It's like a power gauge bar. All right, on the left side, there's this trigger button and this is your quick flash button. So you hit that, it just turns on the brights. Quick and easy way to warn somebody in front of you if they cut you off or, hey, check it out boys, we got the popo up the road. I'm gonna show you one more thing with the headlights. This is headlight delay. I want a 30 second delay. So when I turn the bike off, the headlights will stay on for 30 seconds before they shut off. The last lighting thing is the lights that come on when you charge the bike up. The side panel lights come on and it shows you the level of the battery life depending on where the light is on the side of the panel. Okay, it's uh, time to talk about power and performance. And as far as power, it's not super impressive when compared to like a normal bullet bike, which has a motor that produces 20 horsepower. This one here produces 10 horsepower nominal. When it's peaking out, it can hit 14. Now you got four riding modes. The first one is called Cell, and Naxion says that this is the one that you wanna use if you're just cruising. You just wanna go for a nice chill ride. The second mode is Dynamic, and they say to use this mode if you're gonna use this for a commuter with a lot of traffic, a lot of stop and go. The third mode is Zigzag, and that is gonna deliver the power the fastest. The fourth one is actually going back in power. It's called the Snell mode, and that's gonna limit the power to about three to five miles per hour. And so if you wanted to walk this up a ramp to put in the back of your truck or a trailer, that's the mode that you wanna use. The other day I found a flash toucher road. I put it on the zigzag mode and I was able to top out about 64 to 65 miles per hour. But if you wanna go faster than that, you got this trigger style button right here. And when you hit that, you see those orange arrows, that puts the bike into boost mode. At that level, they say you can top out at 72 miles per hour but I was only able to hit 68, and that's because my flat road ran out. I think if it was a little bit longer, I could have hit over 70. There's two things you can change as far as how you want the power to be delivered. In the advanced settings, you have a power versus temp mode. In power mode, that disregards basically all the safety features for the battery. The battery is too hot, too cold, whatever. It doesn't care. It's just gonna give you full power whenever you want. If you put it onto battery mode, that limits the power depending on the temperature of the battery. And the whole idea behind that is just to preserve the battery life. The second thing you can do is turn it to what they call Stone Age. That's gonna cut off all the safety features. Now, when you have this thing set to its fullest power, they say you can hit 31 miles per hour in 2.8 seconds. The last thing for power is to see how well it can climb. It's rated up to a 32% grade. This is over 40%. So uh, let's go see if it can climb it. Oh, easy. Yeah, it made light work of this hill. It could easily tackle something steeper than that. Woo! Okay, uh, let's talk about range for a second. So first off, this has a semi-solid state battery. On a full charge, they say it can take you up to 119 miles. It's rated up to 1500 charge cycles, which is over 180,000 miles. That's like going from LA to New York and back to LA 36 times. That's a lot of miles. It comes with an auto grade charge port, so you can use it for commercial use, as well as obviously home use. It has a touch screen charge port opener, which is just pretty awesome. It can go from 20% to 80% in one and a half hours, and then a full charge in five hours. And that's pretty much it. Now I wanna talk about the handling. Kickstand down. And first thing is the suspension. This is full suspension. In the front suspension, you have 104 millimeters of travel. In the rear, you have 60. And you are able to tighten up that spring with the right tool. And it's pretty comfortable, except if you're on a bumpy road, which I was over there about a mile away. It's a rough road for even cars, but on this, it was pretty bumpy. Overall, I am happy with the suspension. Now you got two different size tires. The one in the front is about four inches wide. Rear one is about five and a half to six. So you have a lot of surface area touching the ground, which means that you can just rip around corners. I actually really like how this handles. If I was a more experienced rider, I'd be taking these corners a lot faster. But unfortunately, I'm not. I'm just a, a rookie in the motorcycle world. As far as braking, you have ERS brakes. That's the regen part of the braking. So when you hit the brake levers, it's gonna charge up your battery. There's also ABS brakes. There are also motorcycle style hydraulic brakes. And of course, when you hit the brake levers, the tail light flares up. The last thing I wanna talk about is all the safety features. And the first one is the tip over warning. So if you're ripping around a corner too fast, there's a certain point that the machine's going to alert you to avoid sliding out. But when it does warn you, lights will come on 
on the side that you're leaning towards. In the advanced settings, you can set it to pedestrian mode, which plays music when you're going slow. So in a crowded area, if you want people to know that you're coming, that's an easy way to do that. This monitors your tire pressure. And right now the front one is 36.3 and the rear one is 37.7. You can also check to see if there's anything going on with the bike in the abnormal log. And then the last thing is if you put into park mode, that kills the throttle. And so when you're getting on, if you accidentally turn the throttle, it's not gonna take off on you. And there you go, guys. That's everything about the Naxian IM. Uh, I'm pretty happy that this was the first electric motorcycle that I got to review. I love the look. It's unique. It's got a ton of features. It's actually really fun to ride and review. I haven't ever reviewed a vehicle with as many features as this. If you guys want to check it out, I've got the link below. As always, I appreciate you guys hopping on here and checking out my content, and I'll see you on the next one. Yeah, get down with my bad self, yeah, woo!